Hi, this is Pastor John with the latest episode of What Was Jesus Up To During Holy Week? Today on this Tuesday of Holy Week, especially in Luke chapter 20, we see that there's rising tension between those who oppose Jesus, uh, religious leaders, priests, uh, religious teachers, scribes, Pharisees, and Jesus. And they ask Jesus on this day, what authority gives you the right to do what you're doing and say what you're saying? And so we hear this this resistance to who Jesus is and what he's doing and saying. Jesus follows this up with a a parable, a story that uh, ends up with a meaning uh, simply that there are those who ought to receive God and happy that God is in their presence, but in actuality, they end up resisting God. And that's quite a a paradox. And next, uh, they try to trip Jesus up. They've already decided, this man, we've got to do something about it. They want to arrest Jesus or have him arrested, but they're afraid of doing it in front of people. And so they they continue to try to trick Jesus up and place him in in compromising places. And to do that, they ask this question that was controversial. Um, Do you think we ought to pay taxes to Rome, to Caesar? And there are people who believe, yes, we should. And the others said, no, we should not. Um, And so Jesus is put in the middle but instead of answering their question, he just takes a Roman coin and, and uh, asks them whose image is on the coin. And of course, they say Caesar. And so Jesus' response to them is, well, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but give to God what belongs to God. Jesus knows that the image of, uh, of Caesar is on the coin. And so, yes, pay your taxes. Uh, but greater still, God's image is on you. Give to God uh, what belongs to God, which is you. And so next, uh, they try to trip Jesus up again with a controversial question in those days about the resurrection. Some believed, some did not believe in resurrection. And so Jesus uh, uh, ends up ultimately saying that, look, uh, bottom line is uh, that God is the God of the living, not the dead. And so that is true. God is the God of the living. And so we know that, and Jesus knew that. And Jesus would certainly know that come Easter morning. God is the God of the living and not the dead. And finally, uh, they ask uh, 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 more questions. And uh, Jesus uh, ends up uh, seeing and recognizing and and then saying to them that there are some who are just going to be opposed to me and their hearts are not in it. Their hearts are far from God. They say they're with God, but they're really far from God. And so Jesus finally points to a widow uh, who has come to the temple to offer her Uh, her offerings to God. And all she has is two small coins, but Jesus observes she's giving her last two coins. That's all she has. And I think Jesus is pointing to her as saying that she is putting her heart into God. If only everyone that Jesus met would be putting their heart into God, what what a result there might have been. And the question is put to us today. As we walk with Jesus, as we try to get to know him uh, more deeply, is our heart in it with Jesus, as this woman was at the beginning of chapter 21? He says about her, they've given only part, but she has given everything she has. This Tuesday of Holy Week, I hope we can learn that uh, we can trust Jesus with who we are with all that we are. We can trust Jesus with all that we have. I hope you've learned something today and have gained something about hearing more about what Jesus was up to on the Tuesday of Holy Week. Join me tomorrow for the next episode of what Jesus was up to uh, on Holy Week on that Wednesday. I'll see you then.